It's Friday, so that means it's race day at Davenport Speedway. Um, of course, last week I got second there, so I jumped from sixth to third in points. Um, I'm only a few points behind second. So, um, and a little birdie told me Chip wasn't going to be there tonight. So hopefully I can pass him uh, in points and be in second, which is awesome considering I didn't get a race feature a couple weeks ago with some bad luck. And I also had one other DNF at the beginning on season opener. So I would say I'm sitting pretty good right now. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, of course, last Saturday I took the late model to Jackson County Speedway, my first time in it. Um, I finished 17th, but I reached my goal. Um, like I said in my last video, I didn't want to cause any problems for anybody else, and I wanted to just finish all the laps. Uh, I definitely did that. <laughs> didn't cause any caution. Um, I think this week it'll be a lot better. We did some things that will make me a lot more comfortable in the car. Um, one of the biggest things was the steering was a lot harder than I thought it should have been. Um, I think that was because of a junk power steering pump. At least I hope so. We put a different one on with an easy valve in it and just sitting in the shop it feels like it steers a lot easier. Uh, the second thing was the seat doesn't really fit me very well. Um, I've had this problem before. The only way to fix it is to buy a Randy LaJoy Joy of Seating custom seat. <laughs> um, well the problem with those seats are they're built a lot taller than I am. Like I'm short through the middle. So my arms really rub on the sides, and I get big bruises, and it hurts, and I don't like it. Um, but we kind of bent it over and sucked it in a little bit, so I think it'll be okay. Um, the other thing was the brake pedal was way too close, and it really bothered my leg and my hips the next couple days, just because it was stressed out, I think. Um, the late model is definitely a lot more intense. Um, you know, races are 10 laps longer than I'm used to, and just a combination of all those things made me really sore the next couple days. Uh, I think we got it all fixed, though, and see what I can do in it tomorrow. Um, hopefully I can pass somebody. A couple times when I was getting lapped, I just kind of tried racing a few of the guys, and I felt like... Uh, I kind of hung in there, but of course I didn't want to crash anybody, so I didn't try too hard. Um, last Sunday, the races got rained out, unfortunately. When we got to the track, the track looked absolutely awesome. Uh, I was really looking forward to racing and being able to see. <laughs> so, hopefully, and I have faith in them, that they can get the track looking as good as they had last Sunday. Um, let's see. Yee. Next Friday, Davenport isn't racing because of Sturgis or something. So I think we're going to take the late model to Columbus Junction and race, which is awesome because the next day on the 16th, um, Randy's brother's getting married. So I got to go to that, of course. Um, so we're going to miss a night at Makokoda. But yeah, definitely going to race. Well, I don't know about definitely, but I think so. I'm pretty sure. We're going to go to Columbus Junction, race the late model, and then definitely, definitely going to go to East Moline on Sunday. And, oh yeah, by the way, this Sunday I'm playing a national anthem at East Moline, so you got to come and watch that. Don't want to miss that. Um, so, other than that, I think that's about it. Um, if you want tonight, come by my pits after the races and talk to me. Uh, I'd love to see you guys. Um, get a chance to talk to you guys. That goes for any night, Saturday, Sunday, Friday, whatever. Um, so, yeah, and I got bags, bracelets, tattoos, which are free, by the way, for the kids. Um, and I got a few hats. So, yeah, stop by and see me. <laughs>